Mm, this is called proximity. Interesting. So what kind of party is this? Um, a Jackie party? What is what's a, what's a Jackie party? You remember Jackie? Uh, yeah, she's intense. She's serious about serious stuff. She's a lot of fun otherwise. Didn't Jackie have like a one woman band? Yeah. Trans world order give them hell. Twagth? Twagth? It's not actually that bad of a name. Yeah, it's actually really great. She's got a great scream. I'm sold. Twagth. Heavy say it. Say twagth. Twagth. Twag. Twag. Twagith. Anyway, this is a party, and Jaggy invited me. Look at you! All going to secret parties and shit. They're not secret, babe. Well, I wasn't invited. Okay, I invite you. You are now invited. Woohoo! Okay, we got like a 90 minute drive ahead, so. Jeez, this better be some party. Jackie parties are worth the trip. It better. Not drinking beer this time. Although I didn't eat tacos, so maybe I'll be okay. I think I went here once in Girl Scouts to see some sort of longest night play. Yeah, I was there. Oh yeah, we were kind of stuck together back then. The first question is pretty direct. Why'd you start talking to me? I don't think Beatrice likes directness, though. Which is unfortunate for me, because that is my personality. <laughs> but I'm going to try and change up. I'm going to say stuff that I wouldn't say in our relationship might get better. What even was that play? Corbin the Thief. Old. Kind of obscure. Slick little barn cat lived in the woods where no one could find him, but then he stole a diamond or something from the local king and got arrowed to death. Oh yeah, right. Yep. There's a whole second part where he's a ghost, but they never performed that one. Poor ghost cat. Alright, let's go. This is a cool place. I like the look of it. I'm kind of nervous about this. Stay close, alright? Nothing to be scared of down there, just a party. Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. Hey, Jackie. Hey, B. Oh, weird, it's May. Hey, Jackie. You brought me. Yeah, is that okay? Sure, it'll be fun. Come on in, it's a good one. Is there like dancing and stuff? The world is ending, May. Of course there's dancing. Cool. Okay. Is that a goat? But her horns are like spirals. Oh, it's probably more like a deer. A doe. That's why you gotta take it seriously. Put your foot down. No fascists at this party. <laughs> right? <laughs> you don't talk this shit out. You punch that shit out. Do you think that's best? Uh, yeah. Carry a knife and learn to throw a punch. You can't have no sense of humor about this shit. Mace works too. Mace against fascists. Hey. Hey, this is Mae. Hey, Mae. Yep, that's Mae. So where are you guys from? Suburban Bright Harbor. A couple of born and bred harbor rats. Wow, what are you doing out here? Long story for both of us. I got time. Hold up, we're gonna go yell at the DJ real quick. We know him. He's a total dink. 
What does that mean? What is a dink? <laughs> okay, I'll be here. Bye, boys. Are we gonna flirt with him? They seem cool. Yeah, they seem nice. This is very cool. No drinking, May. I already said that, don't worry. <laughs> you guys wanna dance? Yes. Can you dance, May? Hell yeah, I can dance. Can like anyone here dance? I'm bobbing. Wow, I like the way they're dancing. <laughs> oh man, I would have went to parties more of my friends had parties like this, but they're always pretty lame. Oh, those are some good dance moves. Look at that. I think Beatrice is the most. Do I have other Oh yeah, I have other moves. Oh my god, we're winning! Oh yeah, this one is the best one. I love waving my hands. Ooh. We're jamming. Yes. I love it. Hey, I think those guys are back over there. Oh yeah. Should we go talk to them? Yes, please. I can dance, I never knew. I'm gonna keep dancing. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I don't think I've ever danced at a party before. Okay, we'll be like 10 feet away. Within eye shot. And I'll want you. Don't drink anything someone gives you. <laughs> I know that, don't worry. No, seriously, if any, I will be fine. Relax, Beatrice. Let's go, she'll be fine. Okay. We're jamming. Pow, 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 pow. Oh, dance and dance and dance and dance and dance. Dancing, we're dancing, 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 dancing. Ooh, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Push, 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 push. <laughs> this is the best time I've had in this game so far. Why couldn't the whole time be like this? Dancing is easy. What's the big fuss? You look pretentious. Wow, you're super cool. What the heck? Psst. Hey there. The wise kitten focuses not on that which is lost, but all that remains. Okay, wow. You just hanging out in the back of the party, dishing out wisdom? Alright, well, I'll keep that in mind. Have a good one. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? Hey, you. Hey, you. Do I know you? Nope. What's your name? Samantha Stevenson. Samantha. I like it. Sounds like a magic spell. You found me out. It was magic. Now you're good next. Wow. So what's your story, Samantha Stevenson? <laughs> okay. Mm. Ah. Yeah, let's just freak him out. Why not? On a college dropout, a ghost is chasing me, and I recently met God. I've had these dreams that I'm not sure were dreams, where I was running around jumbled bits of like history or something. Like it was all a hairball stuck in the shower drain. And yeah, there's a ghost. And I'm pretty sure it like kidnapped someone on Halloween. Pretty sure I didn't imagine that. My friends don't completely buy it. And I have this thing going on in my head. And I dropped out of college, and I don't even want to get into that. And I, all I wanted to do was come home and for things to be normal. And that's not really working out. And I found out tonight I can dance, and then I saw you. I've never just listed all of that out at once before. Wow, I stole your life story. <laughs> I guess. Hey, give me your hand. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't want to. Oh, what am I doing? 
Why are they bumping? I'm so confused. Am I doing something wrong? <laughs> I was just pressing all my buttons by accident. What is what is this? Are we just going slow? Uh we're not doing something right. Someone say we. What is Okay? What is that? Okay. Secret handshake. Wow. Wow. It works. Okay. I should go find my friend. Let her know I'm over here. Oh yeah, you should. Samantha. Hex again. Boom. <laughs> I'll be here. Okay. Be right back. I'm gonna dance on the stage. Hey, boys. Hey, B. Oh, hey, May. This is Chris. Hi, Chris. Hey, your friend B is pretty cool. Ah, oh, she's okay. Did she tell you? Uh, <laughs> did she tell you we saw a skeleton last night? Whoa. Yeah. Like Memento Mori and Shen. Uh, sick transit Gorian? I don't know what that means. I'm just gonna say it. We're at a party. It doesn't matter, right? <laughs> Beatrice is giggling. Beatrice. That's like an old name. Like a book you read in second grade. Well, a book you liked. Hmm. I liked ghost stories. My granddad died and left me an apple grateful. <laughs> Sorry about your granddad. It's okay, it was years ago. B's mom is dead too. That's inappropriate. May, what are we doing? <laughs> May, May, something. I'm sure everyone here knows someone who died. My dog died last spring when my house exploded. Because there was a gas leak. From when my dad hit a line trying to dig up the dog we had before that. Because we were going to move. My dad said he had to come with us. Yikes, man. That's messed up. So Chris, what are you majoring in? poli -sci. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Is it though? Are there a lot of jobs in that? Oh, I don't know. I just find it interesting. I feel like you have to be pretty materialistic to go to college just so you can get a job after. That's interesting because... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Check out rich kid over here. Gonna pay zillions of dollars to go to college just because something's interesting? BB, check this dude out. You ever worked a day in your life, Chaz? I interned at my uncle's firm, yes. Well, I bagged groceries. Okay. <laughs> May, do you want to dance some more? Um. Eh, yes. I've, we won't root this for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> you should go dance. Yeah, my parents own their own business, so. Oh, tell me about it. I know a bit about running a small business. Want to go across the street and get some pizza? I could eat, and it's a small business. <laughs> You'll speak their language. Get us free slices. Via doesn't like spoiled rich kids, Chuck. I'll come along if that's okay, V. Yeah, let's go. Alright. Uh... Yeah, Via knows all about business. She's super on top of things. Super smart and responsible. She runs, like, the biggest store in Possum Springs. <laughs> May know. What even is Possum Springs? It's west in the mountains. While Rich Kid over here is studying politicians or whatever. But he's out there in the real world. Not like you college kids. May. What? 
<laughs> I'm kind of over the whole college thing myself. B and I have basically run Possum Springs. Except there's like a ghost or something? You two live in Possum Springs? Yeah, I got a problem with that. Whoa, you drove all the way here from Deep Hollow County. Isn't that like two hours away? No, I... Why would you do that? Hey Rick, we drove here in from Deep Hollow. Uh, are you not a student? Yeah. What? Yeah, I'm... I'm... Oh. May. Oh. What's that about? I think she doesn't go here. So? Dude, I don't even know. Oh, why would we do that? Well, I don't know. Maybe the maid's jealous. What did you do? I was gonna ask the same thing. How in the world did you mess that up? She needs this. Now she's God knows where. If something happens to her, I will personally punch your teeth out. Okay. Jeez. Alright, I'm gonna go up the street. You go down towards the river. We find her, make sure she's okay, and meet back here. Oh god, okay. Oof. Back in school, I always told Via that you were an asshole. And I really thought that was true. And it's good to know I was right. Damn. Where are you, Beatrice? The roofs can can get to the river quick on the roofs. Okay. This just got dire. Hey, move. What? Move it, goth dorks. No. I need to get there on the roof. You're not jumping on my car. I will end you right here in this pizza place parking lot. Pizza place parking lot. You say that three times fast. You cool down. You F off. Don't tell me to F off. Don't tell me to cool down. Get away from a damn car. This is going in loose. If you don't get away from your damn car, I'm gonna run it over your damn end. Can you even drive? Wanna find out, citizen? I'm gonna call the cops. If you don't move right now, I'm going to probably make you eat this entire car, and I can do it. I'd like to see you try. The last person I heard, physically, I heard him very, very badly. Physically. Seriously, I'm about to... You're about to what? You know what? I don't have time for this. No, you don't. Move. Hope you break your spine. Everyone just seems to th be thinking about breaking spines. Hup. Wow. This is pretty cool though. I haven't really been interested in the platforming part at all yet, but this is really cool. I wonder if I could have stayed up there. That seems hard though. Mm. You know, I mean, now that I think about it, I don't find May relatable, obviously, so I'm a little confused by her actions. But thinking about it, she is just kind of a self destructive type, isn't she? I, well, more accurately, I would probably say, like, uh, self-sabotaging is what it is, isn't it? I've known a few people like that, for sure. Okay. I think we're doing pretty well, actually. I say that when we're on the lower ground. She wanted to be <laughs> higher up, but... I'm glad that there's kind of options. It's pretty fun. Oh, we found her! B, there you are. 
Are you alright? I'm sorry. Why'd you run? That's like extremely dangerous. You're alone in some college town and you don't even know what... This was my party. These are my parties. I come to these so I can feel normal for like two hours a month. Oh, May, don't be judgy. Uh, I don't like the first question. I guess we'll just like be preachy to her. You could have have been like mugged or something. All over some idiot guy. College is stupid anyway. Oh my god, you complete asshole. You will never understand this. Ever. You know what I do when I go to sleep? This is so freaking sad. I think like obsessively about going to college. Like really, really think hard about it. And if I'm lucky, as I fall asleep, I dream about it. I have to dream about this. This thing you're so over already is like my wildest fantasy. Hmm. Oh my god. These are like the two worst options I could possibly think of. <laughs> it feels really hard. I don't think I've played such an unlikable character. Um. You have a life. That is so sad. I, I'm hoping maybe this option leads to some kind of empathy. Let's, this might be the better of the two, I don't know. Although I did say that I'm gonna go the opposite way that I have before. Hmm. Nah, I'm just, it's whatever. That is so sad. Goddamn right it's sad. When my mom died, my life ended too. I had to take over the business because dad had a complete breakdown. And the bills for my mom literally dying were so bad that we lost the house. The house I grew up in. Gone. Some shitty family with their shitty kids live there right now. We live in an apartment. As my dad wastes away. And like any idea I had of the future, this big bright thing just gets smaller and darker. Every time I wake up, from a dream about nights like tonight, and you can't get that through your thick effing skull. Ooh. Some sad music, huh? Uh, I'm not gonna defend myself, but May should have been more cognizant of what was happening, so I don't. I'm so sad that their option is I had no idea about any of this. How? I know, that's what I'm trying to tell her, Beatrice. How could you not know this? I work hard, and I take care of what's left of my family, and my life is slipping away. I'm trapped in that stupid hardware store, in that stupid town. I'm just... doomed. You're not the only person stuck here, you know? You gave up the thing I can't have. I kinda hate you. I can't not hate you for that, a little. Hmm. Uh, you don't know why I had to leave. Oh, I'm sure it's a brilliant reason. You just sit there judging me. Have you ever even asked why I left? Yeah, first day you're back. Uh, right. So why did you leave? I... I don't know. My head is in pieces right now. Any answer I can give would sound nuts. Oh. Well, that's illuminating. Oh, shut up. All this shit going on this past week? Ghosts and shit? I meant God. He was an asshole. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Oh, May. Look. We're both trapped. But we're trapped together. Better to be trapped with someone else, right? 
Hmm. Listen, I'm sorry about, like, it's okay. We're, like, the best available friends. <laughs> oh, God. May has such a way with words. What river is this? Redwinder. All the iron in the water turns the rocks orange. It must be weird for them. All the rocks on land get to keep their colors. And the river rocks are always looking up at them. Hmm. So, like, actual question. Do you think we'd be friends if we weren't, like, stuck together in the same town? Like we were stuck together in Girl Scouts? Mm, is this just, what's the word? Proximity. That was the name of the chapter! Yeah. I don't know. I honestly don't. My entire life feels like running after something that keeps moving away into the distance while I stay in the same place. And I guess proximity counts for a lot right now. Hmm. Proximity. <sighs> Do you want to go back to the party? Nah. I think we ruined that one, May. Good lord. We can come together... Oh, wait. We can come to another one sometime? <laughs> I swear I won't screw it up. I'll learn to tell. Good. To whatever guy you're obviously trying to get with. Oh good, thanks. B, you should have told me about everything. I was embarrassed. My entire life is embarrassing. But yeah, I'm like way more embarrassing than you will ever be. You are stronger and smarter than anyone I've ever met. Thanks. And you're not as big a total idiot as I act like you are. I'm a jerk sometimes, I know that. But you're a genuinely good person? I'll take it. You know what that Fort Lucian fish found would say? What? Beatrice and Tello, we should get burgers and shakes on the way home. Oh wow, a revelation from God. The good God, the fake one. Crap, I didn't get her info. Who? This super cute girl I met at the party? We did a secret handshake? Is that a euphemism? Crap. Yeah, we need to come back. Okay, you. Let's go home. Home again, home again. This is an interesting night. At least it ended better than it usually does. Daddy -o. Oh wow, are you okay? No. Oh, we're gonna chill with dad. So what's going on? I don't think I can talk about it. You're gonna have to start talking sometime, kid. I wish I could. Why can't you? Hmm. Where to even start? It's just, I've been having these dreams, and I keep thinking I see a ghost. A ghost? Yeah, I've had these horrible nightmares. I feel really real, and I think something really bad is gonna happen. And I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff. Where is it all going? What even is my life right now? I think I patched up some stuff tonight, but everyone is on their way somewhere else. And I had that big fight with mom. Kitten, it's okay. And it's not even counting the money problems. Yeah. Money problems make everything worse, I know it. And I can't do anything about it. I don't even know if I can hold down a job. And how am I ever going to survive? And, shh, kitten, take a breath. Okay. <sighs> Big breath. 
Why don't you get some sleep? Can I just stay down here for a bit? <laughs> as long as you like. Oh, we're finally gonna watch some TV again. Woohoo! It's a Garbo and Malloy show. Garbo? Ever think about, you know, the afterlife? I don't have a life as it is. <laughs> Why, Garbo? Do you think there's someone up there watching? Hey, I just hope Annie was watching it this time slot. <laughs> These are the big questions, Garbo. Don't get any bigger, Malloy. Are you a churchgoer, Garbo? Hey, the last time I was in church, they hadn't invented religion yet. <laughs> You're making up as we went along. Okay, so we all think there's a god, right? We should have potlucks. Can't have a church without potlucks. You could, Malloy, but it would be... A whoppa! Oh, they're having such a great time. Snaps, snaps. Coming up next, Garbo and I contact the dead. That's big. Thanks for hanging out with me, Dad. You the best. You the best. Well, that was fun tonight, though. That was probably the best hangout scene we've done so far. So I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm worried about Angus. Is something going on? I guess we... If we had been hanging out with Greg more, we might know. Hey, you. Hey, me. I'm so tired from tonight. I bet. Did you run all the way to the river? Yeah, on the roofs and stuff. That and dancing really take it out of you. That's like really... That's really nice of me. That you did that. Oh, I wasn't nothing. Go get some sleep. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for running after me. Oh, I never go away. You'll never be rid of me. I could think of worse fates. Hey, kid. Went to a party. Danced at a party. Ran around in the rain. Met a hot girl. Totally didn't get her number. She's a bombshell, though. Wow, sounds like an awesome night. It was a mixed bag. But all in all, I had a party again. We need to do more parties. You are very right. Alright, I'm off to bed. Laters. Sup, Sharkle? <laughs> Sharkle's gonna save us. Not worry. I think that was what Sharkle was about. Sharkle the savior.